right. This is left side of the brain, Jaguars up. Y'all see it. And I got a message today. There is no hope left. I repeat, there is no hope left in this freaking world. I was thinking today, man, I don't see how anybody can get any satisfaction out of living in this world because you gotta say to yourself, any goals that you set in this world, it still can't bring you any satisfaction because like even right now, I'm, I'm talking in this some motherfuckers, ain't shit, man. They walking forward, wow, let me show you. Just a little. Hold up. Y'all see, look. Well, I, I couldn't get them in, in this shot, but just, just stupid, mother. just walking around like, just, it ain't just cause you see a random person. It's like, they stupid random per persons. You can tell. That's why the world is like it is, people. It's so many dumb, stupid, ignorant motherfuckers walking around. And that's and what I was about to say is, I don't feel no type of pleasure by obtaining goals per se. My main goal that I wanna achieve, I wish that I could launch out of this world, sit back somewhere, and shoot a missile at this earth and totally destroy it. That's what I'm coming with. And if you don't feel like that, something is wrong with you. That's how I feel. If somebody don't feel like that, you got a freaking problem, man. Walking past a demon couple. I say to myself, like, how the fuck, like, most of these people, like, you see a man and woman together pushing a stupid, stupid baby carriage. What that old fucking stupid baby in the carriage? The fucking baby is a fucking uh, HPV. You already know what the fuck it is. 99% of everybody. There is no hope left, man. I'm uh, I hate to come off this brutal, but then again, I don't. Because it is what it is. They don't think, man. They don't think. See, thinking means when you think, that means you are capable of seeing where it is that you really, where it is that you really, where you really exist. But they don't see that. They don't see where they exist. They don't tell you, I mean, y'all get what I'm saying. Everywhere you go, man. Everywhere you go. I don't got nobody to talk to. Why am I gonna talk to a stupid ass piece of shit for? Why would I talk to that? Move y'all stupid dumbasses. That's what I say to all these people. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't shit, man. Stupid, stupid ass people, man. What a um fucking cereal aisle left. Yeah, I, I got my camera going. They looking at me. See the camcorders looking at me. But see. It's okay for the camcorders to record me, but if I record myself, that's something strange. That's what people say. I know what people are thinking when they look at me, but the, but the camcorder in the ceiling 
You see? The camcorder in the ceiling, that's normal. So it's normal to record random people, but it's not normal to record myself. That's the thinking in this world. You know why? That's, that's susceptible. At least I'm not recording you. I'm not watching you without your permission, but that's fine to them. You see what I'm saying? That's the kind of world we live in. It's backwards, man. That's perfectly okay to them. You know, <sighs> that's how this world is, man. My, my, my greatest Christmas present would be to hear a news report that nuclear missiles were launched all over the world. Now y'all know this channel is freaky. <laughs> Don't be shocked if that happens. Y'all know how we say things and then it plays out. But that's my Christmas wish, that nuclear missiles, that a nuclear war breaks out this Christmas. That's my wish. I'm ready for this planet to be destroyed. See this jack? That's how I feel right now. Ready for it to be destroyed, man. <clears throat> now I'm just looking for some cereal to eat. While I'm looking out the window as the missiles fall out the sky, I'll be eating cereal with a big grin on my face. Saw them ignorant dumbasses. Why would you gotta be stupid as fuck? Why would you want a gang of stupid children? People stupid, man. <laughs> All motherfuckers dumb as shit, man. Why would you want a fucking gang of stupid children walking in this fucking world, man? This world ain't about shit. If you don't, if you not a, if you not a part of the Rainbow Coalition. You know what I mean by that. I can't say what I really want to say because this is YouTube. But if you're not a part of the Rainbow Coalition, if you're not a straight out demon, devil worshiper, if you're not a narcissist, if you're not something weird, like a... You know those people who do those, you know, sex changes and you turn from male to female if you don't go along with things that are totally absurd you don't have no chance in this world this world is made for crazy unnatural unnatural thinking people it's not made for people like me this world is made for demonic type of people it's not made for somebody like me I can be in a room full of people and I can tell who is who. You can just feel the, the bastards looking at you. Once they eyes fall on you, you can tell who is who. And stop making excuses for people. Stop making excuses saying, Oh, this person does, they just don't get it. They, they don't get it because they can't get it. They not meant to get it. So forget it, forget them. We're not here to save nobody. Fuck them all, man. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back. What y'all think about these? I'm, I'm about to try these out. These um, they look like they'll be good. Honey made, made with real cinnamon. 
Uh, I got me um this just little stuff just to snack around at the house. Fiesta, chicken salad, whatever. Walmart, Walmart shit. I don't know, I just been been having a craving for a lot of fruit lately. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Man, these people ain't they ain't shit, man. You know, and they try to condemn you. This is another thing. You got to watch out for people who try to condemn you for feeling this way. Don't let they'll say stuff like, oh, it's just life. Don't let it get to you. Don't, don't let it get to you. Look at the bright side. But what bright side are they talking about? That's what you got to question yourself. They're not talking about, they don't know what the bright side is. So when they say that, you already know they saying some bullshit. If they don't know about the human prison ball realm, how can they tell you to look at a bright side? They don't. Need, they on the dark side. So the bright side they speaking about is just some of the dark side. Cause they live an illusion. They live an illusion life. So they don't know what a bright side is. So don't listen to people who tell you stuff like that. There is no bright side except this world being destroyed. Now, tell them that. That's the only bright side. You know, they'll try to make you feel condemned. Don't let it get to you. How the fuck? I'm not gonna let it get to me. And this shit is around me. That's like somebody telling you, you know, that's like you've been in a boiling pot of water and somebody saying, don't let it get to you. I'm not saying don't let it, I'm not saying let it change you, but you want to react to shit. That's how you, that's the only way you can realize something is taking place. Reaction. It's a chemical thing. Yes, my chemicals in my brain is reacting to what I see. This HPB realm is, is causing a chemical reaction inside of me. So how are you going to tell me not to react? I have to react by exposing it. I have to speak about it. Nobody else speaking about it. Not like this. You can search all throughout YouTube. Nobody talking about this shit like this. And by the way, this is the original channel where I'm the first person who ever was going out in public with a camera. Everybody know that. I'm not tooting my own horn or anything. But when it comes to this information, can nobody, can nobody tell me nothing about this? I've been doing this. I was the first one with a channel strictly, strictly centered around soulless people, i.e. human prison bars. I'm the first person to, to do this. This is it. This, so whether y'all know it or not, you subscribe to a historic channel. This has never, there has never been a channel in the history of the world centered around HPB information. That's the only thing we speak about. That's what this channel covers, HPB information. I focus on it daily. Now let me get my milk. I don't got no coconut milk. I'm gonna have to go to Harris Teeter. Y'all catch up with me later. I might start back recording when I get in um, Harris Teeter. I can get me some coconut milk. But yeah, I'll be back. 
Jaguars up. Y'all see it? Y'all see the Jaguar mouth? This is left side of the brain. And I'm back. I told y'all I'll be back. Now, something I wanted to ask y'all though. What y'all think about them type of people? You ever seen people, they, they seem to be okay. They seem like they nice and whatever. But, because this happened to me a lot. But when you engage with them, you still realize that it's a certain barrier that you have to, that you can't cross with them. Meaning, they're not as bad as, let's say, a flat out, right out HPB, but they just be a person that's, you know, they cool. It could be your barber or something like that. But even still, you know that inside of yourself, they not as awakened as you. So you don't want to mess up the friendship or whatever. And you, and you try to keep your level down to maintain a relationship. Have any of you been in a situation like that? I find myself with certain people. I don't go all out with them. Because I realize that they wouldn't get it. But at the same time. I do realize that you can't burn bridges and you have to be an illusion to the illusion. That's a classic video I did on this channel. But I just want to, you know, to ask you all that question to see what you felt about it. Leave that in the comment section below. Leave your, your uh, input on that question I just asked. What do you feel about people that's, you know, iffy, like, like, I'm going to give you my opinion. And you don't have to copy my opinion. You come up with your own original, you know. But what I think about them, I feel like they better, it's better to work around people like that, that you got some type of, you know, familiarity with, whether, whether it's like music or, you know, you might be working on a job and you might just, you know, shoot some bullshit with them. You're talking about little stuff. But at the same time, you realize that, yeah, this 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 person ain't on my level, you know. You can, not in a egotistical way, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like you can just feel it in the um, in the atmosphere. And but what I think about it is, those type of people, is better than a flat out HPB. But at the same time, I've noticed that when you're dealing with them type of people, they still attract HPBs. Have y'all noticed that? Like you might be talking to somebody like that and then somebody that you really dislike will come over and they'll give that person a pound and all of that. And you be saying to yourself, oh, I ain't with this. And you kind of back up a little bit. Have anybody ever been in a situation like that? Like they, it's like they draw they draw that energy, so you can't really, you got to take them with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, uh, it's like, you really, you got to just play them by ear. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't, that's how I feel about it, because you still have to, manip you have to maneuver in this world. So those type of people, I just play by ear. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, hey, somebody in the comment section, they may go deeper than me on that um, question. You know, but just briefly giving my analysis, I've come across those type of people. And, you know, you, you kind of wish that they was like you. But then again, there's no one like you. You get what I'm saying? And I always have to remind myself that that when I'm walking around, I see things that the general public don't see. And a lot of times that, annoy that annoyance feeling that you feel, they don't feel that type of annoyance. They may feel the annoyance of having to get up and go to work, but it's not, I feel that spiritual annoyance, like, why these demons out here? Why these people? Act? You know, you can feel that human prison bar negative energy type annoyance. They don't they don't feel that type of annoyance. So it's like 
And when you be having discussions with them type of people, sometimes you can tell that you may be talking about something. They respond, but it's not, you can tell that you miss them with what the point that you was trying to make. It's like, it's like, it's like going over their head or something. I've experienced people like that, man. I've experienced people like that. Oh, let me tell y'all something else. When it comes to women, now, it's some women out here who are on the plane of what I be speaking about. Don't get it twisted. Now, when it comes to these females, you see, a woman is not designed to be the voice piece for the world. You get what I'm saying? The woman is designed to be the support system. So having said that, there are some women out here that has, who possess a good spirit. They may not can elaborate on what I be saying because a woman brain, it doesn't work like that. The male's brain is more centered in logic and reasoning and breaking things down. Construction, just like the world itself. Men construct, women, they just occupy what has been constructed. It's always been that way. Women drive down the roads that men pave. They use the electricity that, from the light poles that men erected. So likewise, in the um, HPB room, I'm the voice piece. You get what I'm saying? There's a few women who, who understand on a subliminal level. They can't speak it out but they on a plane and they and they draw to a person like yourself or myself. You get what I'm saying? But they can't they can't convey how they feel and don't try to force them to convey it. You know what I mean? The thing is, if you find a woman who doesn't criticize the way you think. Say if you're watching this video in front of your girlfriend. If she has some negative stuff to say about this, she's an HPB. Say if you're a woman and you're watching this around your boyfriend. If he got some negative shit to say about it and he don't understand, then you with a demon. So if he gets you pregnant, already know you're about to give birth to a demon baby. Because the man carries the seed. See, so yeah, I thought about that. It's some women out here and they very quiet. They don't say much, not a loud mouth woman, but a very quiet, reserved woman. She's in her natural state, her natural position, you know, you see, she can never really expound on it like me because because uh, you know a woman is never going to say oh don't have children and this this and that so y'all get what i'm saying they're not going to go that deep with it but it's certain women that you can feel comfortable around who don't judge you or criticize you or scrutinize you for the way you feel and the way you behave that's the type of woman that would be beneficial to a man on this path, you know, not a woman that's going to criticize and if you bring something up to her, to her like this, it'll make her shut down and not give you no pussy and all of that. If you were a woman like that, you would have straight up HPB. You know what I mean? So that's something else I wanted to add. I never said that before. And uh, another thing I want to touch on. Your family, that's on paper. See, your real family, see, we got a lot of family members too, and that's something I haven't even spoke about before. We got a lot of HPBs in our families. Let's just be real, Jax. I know we love our grandparents. We love our aunts, our uncles, our nieces, our cousins. A lot of them are HPBs. 
we got to we got to be real. We can't we can't be uh we can't show any uh what's the word impartiality just because it's our family. It can be your own mother. It can be your own father. They can be HPBs. Yes. We just got to keep it real on this channel, man. It, I don't care how how much you love them. The truth is what it is. So your family members will oftentimes condemn you because they are, they are part of the same system, the HPB realm. You got to understand, your parents are the same ones who tripped up and had a child because they didn't know no better. You see? Had they been like left side of the brain, you wouldn't exist today in a human form. So you got to keep that in mind that your parents were thinking, they were thinking like HPBs when the night, on the night you was conceived. They were being HPBs. Your grandparents, they were being HPBs. You see, that's right. Your ancestors were HPBs, 90% of them. I know that sounds, that's what it is. I know y'all don't like to hear that because we love our families, but we just got to call a spade a spade. But y'all know what? I'm about to go to um Harris Teeter like I promised. I got to get some coconut milk for tonight because I might be up late writing and stuff. So I'll have some snack on those cereal that i showed you so yeah i'll be back i might i might i might I told y'all i'll be back it's for my cereal tonight yeah something else i wanted to say i was talking about hpbs and how some of your ancestors were hpbs okay now check this out when it comes to Jesus, notice that Jesus was born through Mary. But guess what? He didn't have an earthly father. You get it? That's an example. You see what I'm saying? He is not the byproduct of someone who was an HPB and decided to have a child. He, he didn't... He didn't come from no person who ended up getting a woman pregnant because he didn't understand the HPB realm. The spirit showed me that. Think about that. Jesus himself is not the product of a HPB relationship because he didn't have no father, no earthly father who went and got a woman pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Think about that. For all you uh, people who believe in Jesus, which I do, I do as well, you know. But I want y'all to think about that. That makes sense, right? But I'm going to leave y'all with that. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Left Side of the Brain. And. Oh, yeah. I got some good coming up for y'all. I got a video that I'm coming out with. I'm going to enjoy it. I might drop it tomorrow, but I'm gonna upload this tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. And um, it's about time we do a live stream too. We haven't did a live stream in a long time. So we gotta do a live stream. Yeah. Y'all tell me what you think in the comment section though. This is Left Side of Brain signing out. <laughs>